All right, welcome everybody here remotely uh, again with Brett. And we got more bad news. Copper is under four dollars. So, yeah, um, it's a holiday. It's a holiday in the U.S. Technically speaking, so I think tomorrow will be the true tell sign what it will actually really look like. Um, I don't know. I'm a. Uh, I still feel like you know the. Me stock inventory available copper is still you know at pushing those historic lows, so we may get some downward draft in copper. But I think the reality of it is, is I think there's still you know I feel like it it should bounce here soon, and if it doesn't, so be it. But I feel like there's still some room to you know to come back up. I do you feel about nickel? You think nickel is gonna get a bounce, a little relief? Man, I hope so. I mean, you're seeing three hundred four. Yeah, three hundred four prices are just getting crushed. Three hundred four stainless, three hundred sixteen stainless. There's just not a lot of want demand for that material right now. So I mean, you're seeing some pretty, you know, lackluster um, stainless pricing. So yeah, I hope the nickel gets some gets some love again here soon, but. You know that that 304 316 those those prices also track the Ferris market pretty heavily as well and you know you know what's going on at the Ferris market it's not getting a ton of love right now either. No, that leads us right into that. I mean, before we know we're going to be in July, you, you feel like things are going to dip in July for Ferris. I, I I feel like July could be a pretty soft soft Ferris month once again. But I mean, I feel like at some point here in the next month or so, we should be plumbing the bottom um, just because I feel like it's starting to affect flow. And once you start to affect flow, as long as there's still a little bit of demand, you know, on the, the new steel side, then which, you know, that's softening up, too. So it's going to be a really interesting finish to 2022. I got a feeling. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean. Some things I've read and people I've talked to, it feels like the bottom's close. I mean, I think that might be some wishful thinking from some people. Um, yeah. um, and it feels like the bottom may be close on like your copper even. So, I mean, if the bottom is around $40 on copper, it ain't yeah. the worst thing in the world, you know, in the recent month or so. So. No, I think, I mean, like I said, it, we've always said over four dollar copper, four plus whatever is still a pretty good copper number. Um, that being said, kind of like we discussed last week, you know, you, every every sale you take today, you know, you may not feel like a good sale, but a week from now may, might look like a really good one. So when the market's trending down like this, whether it's aluminum, nickel, copper, lead, whatever, you know, sometimes it's best to sell into it and see what uh see what the rest of it brings you know yeah i agree well we'll keep watching so tell everybody we'll where you're at posted. Tell everybody i'm in where cancun you're at. i took my family to cancun i come home tomorrow this is our hotel it. room me Looks and the wife behind got it. it is it's great and me and the wife got a spot at the pool early a shade spot and we're gonna enjoy our last day here and nice. i came back to get the girls out of bed because so ah. they're still sleeping i'm gonna get them out of bed get them in the pool uh we're gonna try to boogie boarding out today and nice. we got a little mini golf course we're gonna hit up it's it's been beautiful here so yeah, i feel man. fortunate i'm able to take my family here so i love it i yeah. love it well enjoy your last day and uh long day of travel tomorrow i'm sure but enjoy the last day oh, yeah. and I'll, right. I'll see you here in a couple of days thanks everybody thanks brett bye-bye all right man take care bud see you